road trip. We are in good old Gallup, New Mexico at the Tractor Supply. We got some shavings and we're headed up to Utah. Should be fun. Okay, our first stop was Monticello, Utah, and I already let Dibs out. Let her walk around and get some water and rest a little bit. And we're on our way again. We're about halfway there, I think. about to go down all right that was a great dinner <laughs> you can see Anson wiping the residual off his mouth <laughs> um, so we have about an hour to go I bet Dibs is dying to get out of the trailer again and I'm excited to get her out because it's been like um, 10 hours nine hours We've been driving for a long time, guys, so we're ready to be there already. There's Dips. We're gonna go find our stall and get settled in for the night. It's like almost 10 o'clock and it's not even dark here yet. <laughs> kind of funny. <coughs> we're just walking around. Gonna check out the warm-up arena. Maybe let her roll if she wants to. Oh yeah, I think she wants to roll. Yep, right here, she says. <laughs> Oh, yes. There comes Kathy, probably the oldest pickup here in South Jordan, Utah. 30 years old. But hey, we washed her this morning. <laughs> found her stall. Uh, I think we're going to need more shavings. <laughs> okay, she's all settled in. Got some more shavings in there for her. Time for bed. Okay, we made it to our room where we're going to stay tonight. And here it is. Very romantic anniversary getaway. This is where we're going to be staying. <laughs> so Henson took some video of Dibs and I just getting her out of her stall and riding on Saturday morning before the race. She was able to check out the warm-up arena and even go into the main arena and see the sights. So that was good for her. And I think Henson got a little sidetracked and started videoing Kathy here. <laughs> um, so this is the evening of the race and Henson videoed a few of the girls before me that ran. And you can just kind of see how competitive this race is and how hard these ladies hustle. It's... Um, really humbling to come to these races. These are some really competitive ladies. This horse actually hit the first and second barrel the first day. 
and then I think the next day she went down at the third barrel and even came off of her horse. So really, really pretty horses and, and riders and I was just glad to be a part of it. Here's Dibs and I, she kind of swapped leads going to the first and I lost my reins a little bit and we almost knocked this barrel, but <laughs> thank goodness it just, it stayed up and we finished pretty strong. My stall boy got my horse. Time to go home. So here's part of the facility that we stayed at this weekend. This is the South Jordan Bastion, Utah State University Equestrian Center. You can see the mountains of Salt Lake City and they still have lots of snow on them. Last night was a pretty chilly night in the trailer, but not too bad. Anyway, really cool facility and grounds landscape so we'll see if they have it here again next year last year it was in Salina so we'll see maybe we'll be back at this ruby buckle next year they have a couple races um, throughout the year in certain regions and this is the one that's closest to us so we like to come to this one Really cool people at the Ruby Buckle, the staff, the everybody, just really cool, really fun, really cool race to be at. So we're going to load up and head out. All right, guys, you know, we love our Hawaiian food. Found this place, Mobetas. We're gonna check it out. See what we think. <laughs> the mini place. Henson got steak and I got um, teriyaki chicken. All right, Arizona's Ono is way better. The chicken's better, the cabbage is better, the macaroni salad's better, the rice is better, the teriyaki sauce is better. <laughs> I don't know. Can't beat Ono. Ono's really good. I mean, it, this wasn't terrible, but Ono is just really good. Okay, we're going to get on the road now. guys. There's Kathy. 
she brought us all the way home all the way there and back <laughs> hey guys we are back home rested and ready for another week full of training i have my horses all ready to go and just wanted to recap the weekend for you guys a little bit so if you don't know what the ruby buckle is it's kind of a big deal for barrel racers it has tons of added money and it is an incentive race so only um, horses that are sired by certain stallions are allowed to enter in this race and dibs's sire is dash and dynamo and he is paid in to the stallion incentive so we get to race her and it was a big race there was almost 700 entries in the open and we just fell in the cracks we wanted to bring home some money but we didn't everybody likes to win money right <laughs> uh, i have a friend that came home with over ten thousand dollars and if you guys know maddie stoltman she has a youtube channel her channel is barrel, uh, barrel racer life I think if you've never watched her go check her out she just does all barrel racing and she won over twelve thousand dollars yeah they came home with some good money and I think some people won even over 40 grand good race fun race to be at I didn't jockey like I wanted to of course that's always <laughs> that's always the story but I'm working all the time on trying to be a better jockey and trainer and that's just what we do. We're back at it again today. I hope you guys had fun. Um, we sure did. I guess that's it. We'll see you guys next time.